My name is John Gramada. I'm the composer and sound designer for the trip to Bountiful. As composer and sound designer for the production, I'm responsible for writing the music, selecting music for the production, and integrating it into uh, the production. The piano really is the base of the score, and I'm using the piano as a percussive instrument, and it's sort of the motor of the score. And uh, to me, the piano gives a, a certain clarity and simplicity that I find in, in Mother Watts. Um, so the piano really is about her story and her, her, uh, her engine towards reaching Bountiful. Like what appeals to me as an artist working in this production is when I see a moment that works for an audience and I can feel an audience being moved in a way that my work is supporting. It's very exciting for me to, to, to actually see a moment be realized on stage with my music and sound being a part of that. Well, working at Horton Foot Plays are always uh, somewhat easier because Horton was very musical and music is a big part of his productions. In particular, Horton was very interested in hymns and what hymns meant to people. And I, I can't think of a single play of his where there's not at least one character singing a hymn. In A Trip to Bountiful, uh, Mother Watts, uh, she sings three different hymns. And I chose to base the score for the production on one of the hymns that she sings, which is called There's No Friend Like the Lowly Jesus. Uh, so this, the, the entire score is pretty much a riff on a few phrases of that hymn. Knowing where to draw that line, how, how, how far to go emotionally with the music is a constant challenge in theater music. In film music, you can get away with that a lot, a lot more easily. In theater music, you need to make things a lot more ambiguous. Film music, whenever I do film or TV, people are always saying, you know, you've got to play into the emotion. With theater music, you need to sometimes play against it, or sometimes the music is more of a palate cleanser, it's more of, of, a, of, a, of a breath between scenes. Um, and you don't really want to match emotion directly. I think it's, it really is an epic play. It, it is an epic American journey that would be relevant uh, in any time. It really has resonance for us as, as Americans and as people who long for some sense of, of the past. We all have that longing. We all have that longing for some some kind of ideal idealized place, which is which is universal to us all.